Hey yo, what's good YouTube, the boy to back in here. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can add repayment goals with access. I've been getting this complaint on my hand on how you can add payments on USB accounts, UK account, and also Nigerian accounts. Then I believe this procedure will also help you to add your payment details in every other country account. So just be a new, make sure you like, subscribe, and also follow me on Instagram at the 10TV. I also, in case we need any English channel, mentorship or anything or blogging, which you can me on my WhatsApp, is in the number down there in the description of this video. So with that being said, let's dive into this video. Hey, you was good guys. Um, so this is my screen. And um, this is going to be like the best tutorials on how you can add the payment details to your AdSense account. So I've been ignoring this, but the complaints kept coming. So I decided to come up here to do this video so um this is an adsense account a nigerian adsense account and um let me refresh it so that you guys can see that everything here is intact and not some fake screenshots okay so there are some deduction which is normal if you're doing android all right so that's it everything is still intact nine four nine for the month all right so i'm going to show you guys how to add um a payment history for a nigerian account then for a uk account Okay, I would love to show you guys with um, also a USA account, but I, currently I don't have any USA accounts in this laptop, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it as well. Okay, so now, let me show you guys um, a, US, a UK account. Okay, so this is a UK account, so let me refresh it. Um, Okay, with everything is intact. You can see that your payments are currently on hold, actually required to release payments. Okay, um, I think I have another account here. Okay, for this one, let me refresh it as well. Okay, this is actually a Nigerian account. Of course, I want to show you guys all of that right now. Okay, so now let me start with this UK account. So now you can see that action is required for me to do that. So I'm going to click on this action. So if I click on action, let me allow it to load. Okay, so you can see that to receive payment, please choose a valid payment method. So I will be needed to add a payment method by clicking here. So the minimum threshold for getting paid for a pounds account as a UK account is actually 60 pounds. Then for a dollar account, any dollar account at all is actually 100 pounds. Okay, so now if you come here, make sure you tick this, make sure you select set as prime um, payment method, okay? So now, this is where you'll be required to impute your bank name, okay? Okay, name on bank account. Now this is branch sort code, and then your account number. This is where you put your account number. So three options for your UK account. And some people actually get confused when it comes to this one. So let me just dive into my um, Pioneer account. Okay, this is actually my Gray account, and this is my Pioneer account. Now. You can receive your payment using Gray accounts, okay, using Gray account or using your Pioneer account. I know a lot of people actually don't know about Gray. Gray is like um, an exchanger, a black market exchanger, and their rates are very, very good. Not compared to the actual black market, but to a reasonable extent, they are very, very good, all right? So now you can receive your payment directly to your Gray account, okay? The only difference with receiving your payment with Pioneer and Gray is that if Google pays on 21st, you're most likely going to receive your payment on 22nd if you're using Pioneer. But if you're using Gray, you're most likely going to receive your payment on either 23rd or 24th. So that is the only thing. The delay in receiving payments is the only difference. So I've used the both of them to receive payments countless times. Okay, so and I, I can attest to you guys that it works perfectly well without any issues. And another thing is that they have good customer care representative that you can always contact in case if they have any issue with your account okay so now um let me continue so if you come to your pioneer so let me start with pioneer okay um okay after creating your account make sure you request for an account that after verifying your pioneer account and all of that so i'm going to assume that you guys already have your pioneer details verified so just come to get paid okay just click on get paid so if you click on get paid you're going to see these two options. Click on receiving accounts. 
So if you click on receiving accounts, this is for your UK and this is for your USA. Of course, they're going to request an account before you'll be given this. So you can also use PayNow to receive um, payment from your Canadian AdSense account or uh, from other currencies that they support. So I only requested for UK and USA because that's the two major ones I use. So now I'm going to do this with UK account. So let's click on this view details. So if you give it, if you view details, you're going to see the provided details here. So bank name, okay, bank name is the one that you are required to provide. Then the sort code, account number. Then you are not required to provide the beneficiary name. So let's go back to AdSense account. So bank name now. I'm going to go ahead and copy it from um from Pioneer. Copy it, come and paste it here. Okay, sort code, branch sort code. Go back to Pioneer, copy the sort code, paste it here. Then the account number, copy the account number, paste it here. Okay, so those are the three required details that you'll be um, asked to provide. Okay, and um, another thing is that after saving it, some money will be sent to your Pioneer account. Okay, some money will be sent to your Pioneer account. You can see here, verify your bank. Google will deposit less than 0 0.35 pounds into your bank account within the next three to five days. Um, go to payment methods and, you know, enter the exact amount. Okay, you got it. So what is going to happen is that Google will send a specific amount of money to your account, less than 0 0.35 pounds to your account and You'll be required to put the exact amount to your um, details, right, by verifying it now. So that is how it actually works. And after doing that, you start receiving payment with that account. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I don't really want to input my payment details for now. So once it's, it's due for verification, that's after you receive the, the money they will send to the account. Come here, click on verify and select the exact amount that is select the exact amount here and then click on verify so that is after you've received it don't proceed with this method if you've not received the money so let me remove this account details because i don't really want to use it okay okay good so that is that how to, that is how to actually add your payment details for your uk account successfully without any issues all right so no stress nothing at all and after the that you start receiving your money directly to your pioneer account now I used to actually do one thing, even currently I still do it. What I do is that I receive payments with Pioneer, then I'll transfer to Gray to receive money, okay? Like to convert it to Naira, okay? So I realized that Pioneer was actually charging me too much, which is very, very unbearable. So that was how I started researching on how to actually, like I started asking question if you can receive your money with Gray and their customer service said that you can. So I, I tried it and it worked. Okay, even currently, I think I still have some money I transferred to my Gray. Okay, let me show you guys. So one thousand pounds. You can see some couple of transactions I've done with it, and they also provide you with naira account, euro, and dollar. So let me go back to accounts and reports. So now, um, remember the three details you're required to provide: your account number, your sort code, and then your your name. Okay, your bank name. Sorry, as a clear junction limited so provide the same details to your adsense and you're good to go so now let me go to a nigerian account and go to a nigerian account okay let me refresh this again let me refresh it again let me refresh it again do everything still intact so let me go to this one and refresh it okay well it's still intact okay so now let me let me show you guys how you can actually add the payment details to um, your Nigerian account. Let, let, let's go to payment info. Okay. So if you get to the payment info, to get to the payment info, um, click on manage payments. So I currently have a receiving account on this account. So let me just click on manage info. Okay, so now I'll click on add payment method. So Nigerian account is actually very, very simple to, to, to receive. 
Okay, so you be, be provided with these two options. So we're not doing wire transfer details. Sorry, we're doing wire transfer details. We're not doing check details. So let's um, proceed. Okay, so now beneficiary ID is optional. So you leave it like that. So your bank name, that's name on bank, name on bank account. That's your actual name. Okay, so put your actual name here. Now put your um your bank name. If you're using Polaris Bank, you're using Access Bank, Zenith Bank, and the rest of them. Go ahead and put it here. Okay, put it here and save it. So your Swift um BIC. A lot of people actually get confused here. So if you don't know your bank B um your, your bank Swift BIC, for example, let's say Polaris um Swift. Okay, let me just okay, let me just use Swift BIC. So you can search it for, for you can search it online, Polaris Swift BIC. So scroll down here where you can see bank codes. So a lot of banks actually have their own specific um Swift code. Okay, so this is actually the one for Polaris, Polaris Bank Limited. So you can just copy it here and go and put it there. So you can search for every other bank that you're working with. Okay, so this is for Polaris. Copy it here, come here, and put it here. Okay, put your bank name. Okay, let me just let me use Polaris since I started using Polaris. Polaris bank. Okay, name on bank. Let's say SFP uh, processor Chuko. Okay, so account number. You put your account number. Let's take this for example. So I retype the same account number here. I like can going to put it twice. Copy. Okay, I think I made a mistake here. I didn't copy the actual. I didn't copy the actual um, Swift code. Let me copy it again. Copy. Come right here and paste. Okay, so now you provided every other detail that you are asked to provide. So make sure you set it as primary um, payment method. And after that, you save. Now, the good thing is that you will not be required to verify a deposit. That's no money will not be sent to the account to know if it's the actual account. Okay, but that doesn't mean that money will be sent to the wrong account. Okay, so after some like once once you're done putting it, just go ahead and save it, and after saving it, you are good to go. Okay, after saving it, you are good to go. So that's basically how to add your payment details to your Nigerian Access account. Okay, so make sure, remember to use. Um, the new wire transfer. If you use this, they're not gonna get your money. They're not gonna get your money because they will be required to ship the money down here to Nigeria using their check delivery service. So, but you're not gonna receive it. So, better use this um wire transfer details and provide them with the necessary details, and you are good to go. So, um, that is actually how to actually add the, um the payment details to to um. The Nigerian and, and UK accounts. Now let me clear the air with USA accounts. Okay, USA requires more details to be added. Okay, because of the tax thing and all. Okay, and another thing is that some people get confused if the name that was used to verify the account must be the same name that would be used to receive um, payments. No, you can use any other account to receive payment um, on your account. Okay. Now, so I would have loved to use Gray to show you guys how to um, add your payment details with a, U a USA account, but Gray currently disabled their USD transactions. Likewise, every other fintech company, I don't know what's going on. Even their card service is not working for now. Okay, so but um, notwithstanding, I can still use um, Payoneer to show you guys that. So just click on details. They'll be provided with every possible details that you'll be needed, okay? Every every day you'll be needing be provided here. And you're going to be using checking, okay? So you're using checking, it will be seen, it will be seen on your AdSense account. Okay. So just copy it, settle down and copy it. Bank name, copy it and put it on your AdSense account. That's USA account. Account number, put it there. Okay. Um account type, checking, put it there. The beneficiary name, that's your name, put it there. If you ask the address, you put it there as well. So every other details that is not here. Okay. Every other details that is not here and it's act on AdSense, it will be seen as optional. So leave it empty and then go ahead and save it. Some deposits will be made after some days, verify it and you are good to go. So it's still the same process. There is no big deal 
um, involved. It's just a simple step-by-step -step process and you are good to go. So I think I'll end this video here. I don't want it to be very, very long. Okay, just request your account and you'll be provided details and then you proceed from there. All right, so I believe our new dives found value in this video. I know this might not really be important to some people because I believe this should be some basics for, you know, a lot of bloggers, but I've been getting complaints on it. So that's why I decided to do a video about this. So with that being said, I think I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Please stay safe and peace out.